Amen. This morning, thanks to God on this Mother's Day. We want to talk about a thought that God has placed in my heart, talking about mothers, amen, and talking about a particular mother, amen, in scripture. This was a powerful mother. This mother, amen, saw the need, and this mother knew what to do. I believe, saints of God, mothers has an instinct that I don't think, amen, men of us fathers have, amen. I don't say that to take nothing from, amen, the father, but it's something about a mother. You don't hear the football players and the basketball players talking about, hey, daddy, hey, father. It's always, hey, mom, it'll be all right. I don't know what us fathers did wrong, but that's all right. We do understand it. That's a, there's a connection there. It's something about mama, amen? Hallelujah. And you know, you can't take that away from her. Thanks of God and to you that are with us this morning. We want to come out of the book of 2 Kings, and that's chapter 4, praise the Lord, in verse 1 down to verse 7. Amen. We want to use these scriptures as a foundation, amen, to share with you the things that God <laughs> placed into our heart, talking about a mother. Amen. I believe this is the type of mothers that we need today, and I believe that many of these mothers already exist today. Amen. Isn't he all right? Hallelujah. And I believe this is the answer, amen, to help many of the mothers, amen, with their problems, circumstances, situation, whatever predicament they may find themselves in. I believe this morning that this message out of 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 1, down to verse 7, I'm talking about a mother, amen, that cried to the Lord. I believe that mama know how to cry to the Lord. This mother cried to the Lord. This mother didn't cry to Joe Smuckatelli or John James or whoever. This mother, this mother cried, amen, to the Lord. Isn't he all right? In 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 1, it reads and said, now there, now there cried a certain woman, amen, he's all right, isn't he, of the wives of the son of the prophet, of the prophets unto Elijah, say it. Thy servant, my husband, is dead, God Almighty. And thy knoweth that, amen, thy servant did fear the Lord. Look here, man of God. Your servant, my husband, is dead. And, and she reiterated, you know he feared the Lord. Ah, oh, what a mother. Hang with me, saints of God. And, amen, the creditors in the all right. I'm sorry, amen, thy servant is dead, and thy knowing that, amen, thy servant did fear the Lord, and the creditors has come, amen, to take, amen, unto him my two sons to be, amen, bondsmen, amen, and they're all right. all right. And Elijah said unto her, amen, what shall I do for thee? Tell me, amen, what hast thou in thy house? Isn't he all right? What did your husband leave you with? Amen. <laughs> what did he leave you? You got anything? Did he have any insurance? What did he leave you? Isn't he all right? So hang with me, church. But he asked her this question. I don't want to get hung up there, but any preacher could easily get hung up right there. What do you have in your house? He's all right, isn't he? What do you have? Amen. And Elijah, when he asked her this, what shall I do? Amen. What has died in thy house? And she said, thine handmaiden has not, amen, anything in the house. He didn't leave me with nothing. Are y'all with me, church? Amen. Oh, what a mother. Amen. Save a pot of oil. The only thing he left was a pot of oil. <clears throat> amen. But this was a valuable pot of oil. Are y'all with me, saints? Amen. Verse 3 said, then, amen, he said, go, amen, borrow the vessels abroad of all thy neighbors. Hey, hit me all right. No. Go to all your neighbors and do this. Even empty vessels, amen, borrow not a few. Hit me all right. No. And when thou or come in, thou shalt shut the door, then thee, amen, upon thee and upon thy sons.
sons and shall pour out into all these vessels and thou shalt set aside, amen, that which is full. In the all right, so she went, amen, from him and shut the door upon her, praise the Lord, and upon her sons who brought, amen, the vessels to her, these that they had went out and borrowed, and she pulled on. Isn't it something, amen, saints of God, how God did this miracle somewhat in secret, didn't want anybody to see what he was doing and how he was doing. You go in your house and shut the door. I'm going to help myself in there. But the Bible said that, amen, the vessels, amen, brought to her, amen, and she poured all, amen, that a son had given. The, look what verse 6 says, thanks of God. And it came to pass that when the vessels was full, amen, that she said unto her son, bring me a vessel. The all is still flowing in the all right. And Amen. And said unto her, and he said unto her, Amen. There is not a vessel more. And the all stay. Hallelujah. In the all right. All right. And verse seven reads and said, Then she came, Amen, and told the man of God. And he said, Go. Sell thee all and pay thy debt and live thou and thy children of the rest. In the all right, this mother knew what to do in the situation, the circumstance, the predicament that she found herself in. What a mother. This mother, thanks of God, she cried to the Lord. Here she cried to the man of God who represented God on the earth that day, in that day, in the all right. But isn't it good to know the day, thanks of God, that you ain't got to come, amen. You can do it, don't misunderstand me now. Hallelujah. But God had made a way that, amen, you ain't got to go through no man, no woman, no amen bishop, no prophet, no amen evangelist, hallelujah, no apostle. But you can come to the throne of grace with boldness and you can cry unto the Lord yourself and you can let him know what's going on in your life. in the all right? But in that day, this mother knew what to do. She went directly, amen, saints of God, and she cried out, amen, to the Lord. Hallelujah. She invoked the God into her situation. She invoked the God into her problem, amen, that she was having. This mother, saints of God, faced a severe, amen, an urgent crisis that she found herself in. The Bible let us know that her husband, amen, a prophet, amen, had died and left her, amen, with heavy debt. In other words, didn't leave no kind of insurance money or nothing. Amen. Y'all with me? Amen. amen. Sister Thomas, amen. If I die tomorrow, I know she'll get $50. Are y'all with me? Amen. amen. There won't be nothing but that's something. Yeah. Are y'all with me, church? But anyway, thanks to God. Amen. I'm going to set this up to show you this mother because she had two sons to take care of afterward. This mother faced a severe urgent crisis. Her husband, the prophet, had died, thanks to God. Amen. And left her, amen, with heavy debt. She was, amen, destitute, the saints of God, having no money, amen, whatsoever to pay off the debt, amen, nor to make payments, amen, to any of the creditors that they had, that they had established together while he was alive. This mother, saints of God, we see that the creditors, according to the scriptures that we read, the creditors amen, were threatening to enslave her two sons. Not only that, saints of God, but remember, under ancient Jewish law, amen, of that time, it demanded that the debt be paid off by the labor of the person, amen, if they could not pay it, amen, that they could do what they was about to do. 
According to the scriptures in Leviticus, chapter 25, saints of God, and verse 35 down to verse 55. You get a chance? Go and read it. Amen. They was in their right, and they was following the law. God's all right in me. But yet all that this mother has to deal with, remember, saints of God, poor, broke, busted, disgusted, and couldn't be trusted. But one thing about this mother, amen, and I believe many of the mothers today, amen, they know what to do. This mother cried to the Lord. That's what the first verse said, amen, amen. The first verse, amen, simply said that, saints of God. Now there cried a certain woman, amen, of the wives of the sons of the prophet, unto Elijah said, in other words, amen, she cried out unto the Lord. Isn't he all right? Uh, this was the case, saints of God, with the widow, amen, and her two sons. She was destitute, as we told you, without food, amen, or no, amen, supplies whatsoever, amen, that her husband had left her with. And remember, he was a prophet. You would think that he would have it together. Amen. God's all right, isn't it? That goes to show you sometimes even us, Men's of God and women's of God don't have together like we should. But she had nothing. All she had, the Bible said, saints of God, was a little oil, a little olive oil, amen, amen, that could be used for cooking or preparing or for using to prepare heat or to heat the home. God's all right in me. But saints of God, what a mother. This mother cried out to the Lord. A man saints in seeking for a way to solve a problem. She cried out to the Lord. In the all right, in desperation, saints of God, the mother. Amen. She went to the prophet according to the scripture. Amen. He's all right, isn't it? And amen. An appeal for the help. Amen. That come from God and God alone. She explained to the prophet. Amen, not realizing and knowing that she was explaining to God himself. Amen, her circumstance. Amen, what a mother. Amen, that would go. Amen, and cry to the Lord on the behalf. Amen, of her sons and her daughters. Y'all don't hear me, saints of God. This mother knew what to do. She didn't panic. She didn't lose control of this or of that. God's all right, isn't it? You see, the Bible said that the prophet told her, amen, to seek the help of your neighbors, amen, but in a, partic in a particular way. The Bible said that she was to go, amen, around, amen, to all her neighbors and borrow, amen, all the jars, amen, and empty vessels that they had and was not using at that time. God's all right, isn't it? She was not to ask, Amen, the Bible said for just, just a few jaws, but as many as, as she could. In other words, there was no limitation, amen, to this blessing, to this miracle, amen, that God was about to bring to pass, amen, in secret, amen, in this mother's life, amen, who cried out unto him, he's all right, isn't he? Thanks of God, the scripture let us know that she and her son, Amen. Was then to seek privacy. Think about it, saints of God. God did not want this to be done openly. Amen. But to receive privately. Amen. Go take you and your son. Close the door. Amen. Don't let nobody see what you're doing. Y'all don't hear me. Amen. Get along by. Amen. Going inside their home and shutting the door. Amen. The Bible said behind them. He's all right, isn't it? Amen. You see, whatever miracle took place, amen, behind those shut doors. Amen. This is an interesting miracle. This miracle was done behind shut doors. Nobody saw it but the mother and her two sons. Nobody understood how God worked this miracle. Amen. All oh, continue to flow. He's all right, isn't he? Isn't he all right? You see, whatever miracle took place was to be, amen, to the glory of God. Amen. The miracle sense of God, amen, of meeting her needs, amen, was not to be attractive. Amen. It was not to attract attention, amen, to her. 
Are y'all with me, saints of God? Amen. That is what is taking place in our world today. The men and the women of God are tracking so much attention to themselves and not to Jesus. He's all right, isn't it? It's saints of God and not to point to her. Amen. And to see her as some super spiritual person. This is what is happening in the church world today. Amen. But rather, amen, to honor God and to give him the glory. Remember that God would be meeting, amen, all of her needs, amen, behind these shut doors. Isn't he all right? Amen. But he alone, saints of God, was to be praised in the all right. Remember the Bible said that she obeyed the prophet saints of God, amen, and trusted, amen, the Lord to multiply the all, amen, enough, amen, to fool, amen, to fill up all the containers that she had borrowed from her neighbors in the all right. A saints of God, amen, the result was, amen, Nothing but a miracle in the all right, a miracle from a mama, a man that cried out to the Lord. Is there any mothers today that are crying out, amen, to the Lord? You know the need, you know, amen, the problem in the all right. You see, the small amount of olive oil, amen, was multiplied supernaturally, amen, and filling all the jaws that she had. This lesson, this sermon this morning, saints of God, amen for us is amen simply, amen and very straightforward, amen. Remember this mother, amen, can look to God in the all right. In other words, what I'm saying today, mothers, amen, continue to look to God as this mother, amen, look to God to have Amen. All of her needs met. And I believe that mothers can do the same today. I believe that God has a place in his heart. Amen. For mothers. Isn't he all right? Amen. No matter what need, amen, a mother is facing today. Amen. God's heart is full of compassion. Amen. Reaching out to meet that need. Amen. For the mothers that are crying out to him, amen, on the behalf of their families. Isn't he all right? Amen. Just like this mother saints of God in scripture here in the book of King, amen, if the need of his finances, God, amen, want to help and to meet, amen, that need of money. He can do it. He did it for her, and he'll do it for the mothers today also. This mother cried out, Amen to the Lord. Do I have any mothers this morning that are with me, that are still crying out for the to the Lord? Amen for their children. God's all right, isn't it? For their circumstances, for their problem, whatever might be in the all right. I want you to know that He's able. Amen. And He ain't not only that, but He's not a respected person. Amen. Saints of God. If the Christ sees, amen, amen, that you mothers today are having, amen, is loneliness. I want you to know, amen, lack of, amen, companionship. I don't know, amen, what your problem might be. Insecurity, amen, disappointment, amen, disobedient, amen, or rebellious children, amen, it may be poverty. Amen, you're broke, amen, lack of food, lack of clothing, amen, no housing, unemployment, amen, no job, amen, he's all right, isn't he? Mm, very little is coming in to pay the bill, amen, can't afford to do that. I want the mother to know this morning, like this mother did, she cried unto the Lord, amen, for her needs, isn't he all right? Mother, amen, I hope you're following with me this morning. God is looking for some mothers, amen, that will continue to cry under him, amen. In the all right, I believe that my mother, I believe that your mother cried to the Lord on your behalf, amen, and on my behalf. I believe that's why we're here today. God's all right, isn't it? 
saints of God, he's all right, isn't he? Remember, God want to meet the need mm, where the mothers continue to cry out unto him like this mother did. Saints of God, amen, the step, amen, taken by this mother should be taken by the mothers that are facing grave needs today. What step did she take? She cried to the Lord. What step did she take? She cried to the Lord. She didn't get in no cone and hide. Amen. He's all right, isn't he? She faced up and understood, amen, the problem that she was in, that her husband had died. Amen. The prophet, amen, didn't leave nothing mm, to help pay the debts or to do nothing. God's all right, isn't it? Ah, but she, amen, let me know also that she feared the Lord herself. God's all right, isn't it? In other words, she reverenced the Lord herself. In other words, she had faith in the Lord herself. God's all right, isn't it? You see, saints of God, this mother cried to the Lord. Amen, that's what she did. This mother knew that God knew her problem. Ah, you with me this morning? Mothers, God knows your problem. Yes, he does. This mother knew that God knew her problem. One of the problems was she had the problem of despair. A man was now in her family, in her household. Remember the word cry simply means to moan. She moaned to the Lord, amen, to weep, amen, continuously. Ah, can you imagine this mother crying and weeping day and night up to the Lord in the all right? This word, amen, cry also identifies the sound of a broken heart. Yeah. This mother, saints of God, amen, comes to the man of God at the lowest moment of her life. Y'all don't hear me this morning in the all right despair all in a home all in a family. One of the problems this mother had also, amen, the problem of death, amen, was now in her family, was now in her household. In other words, she was married to one of the sons of the prophets, the Bible said, amen. These were the men, saints of God, who was in training under Elisha, amen, to be, amen, prophets, amen, and preachers, in Israel during that time. Her husband, saints of God, amen, her lover, her friend, her provider, her protector, amen, had been taken away from her in death, amen. She's now broken and broke. God's all right, isn't it? Isn't he all right? Isn't he all right? What a mother, amen. What a wife, amen. Y'all don't hear me, amen. She cried unto the Lord, amen, with this problem that she was having, but she knew that God knew all of her problem, the problem of death, amen, was now, amen, in her household, amen, in her family. Since her husband is dead, amen, she cannot pay, amen, her bills, saints of God. As a result of that, the Bible tells us that her creditors, amen, was now coming to take her sons away, amen, as slaves, amen, so that they could work off to death. God's all right, isn't it? She had been, amen, deprived of her husband, now saints of God, in the all right. She's about to lose her son, amen, and well, and that touched her heart. She went to the man of God crying unto the Lord. She is saints of God, amen, over her head in debt. She doesn't see how, amen, she can make it, amen. Have you ever been there? God's, uh, oh, God's all right, isn't it? Have you ever been there, mother? Amen, the same that this mother found herself in here in this chapter. God's all right, isn't it? Church, amen, this mother had devotion. Amen. In her family, they were devoted, amen, to everything. Y'all don't hear me. Amen. Even though they was going through what they was going through, dealing with what they was dealing with, 
amen, devotion was still there. In spite of all her problems, she still held firm to her faith, to her confidence and her trust in her God. She needed help. She did not turn to her family, amen, or her friends. She did not, amen, try, amen, to find someone to loan her, amen, more money. Amen. In her amen desperation, she turned amen to the man of God for help. He lost the man of God, amen, who represented on earth that amen during that time, God himself. In the all right, she remained amen, saints of God. She reminded him, listen, she reminded him, make sure this get in your spirit. She reminded him that her husband did fear the Lord. I the all right. She reminded him that her husband did fear the Lord. God's all right in me. This mother's life, saints of God, hath been a life, amen, of devotion, amen, to the Lord, amen, and in her troubles, amen. And she trusted him and turned to him for the thing that she now needed. In spite of her pain, her problem, amen, and her lack, amen, of possibilities, the Bible let us know that she still looked up to God, amen, for the help that she needed. Thanks of God, even though, amen, he's all right in it. Even though, amen, she didn't understand everything that she was facing, amen, she still believed, amen, that God, amen, care, amen, and that he would do something, amen, about her situation. What a mother, what did she do? She cried out, amen, to him in faith. In the all right, mothers, when you reach the point, amen, that the world, the flesh, and the devil, amen, are telling you, amen, that God doesn't see Amen, that God, he doesn't even care. Amen, the fact is, I want you to know he does care. In the all right, Amen. he sees everything according to the scripture that you are facing. Amen, not a single thing. Amen, thanks of God is hindered. Is he from his view in the all right? In the all right, he cares more for you than you can even imagine a thing. Saints of God, this mother, amen, told her depend upon God. Mothers, continue to depend upon God. Continue to cry to the Lord. Continue to moan in the all right. Amen. Remember, this mother depended upon God. He's all right, isn't he? This was a life to experience. Amen. He depended upon God. This was Daniel experience. He's all right in the loud den. He had no other help. He had to depend upon God. This was Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. They experienced the same thing. They had to depend upon God in the all right. This was a man, saints of God, the experience of the 5,000 that was fed with the little boy's lunch, they call it. They had to depend upon God. He multiplied the fish and the loaf in the same way that he multiplied the all. Amen. He's all right, isn't he? This was the experience of the disciples on the Sea of Galilee. They had to depend upon the Lord. They cried unto the Lord in the same way that the mother cried. Amen. Unto the Lord. He's all right, isn't he? She didn't cry to her friend. She didn't cry to her family. She cried unto the Lord in the all right. This mother understood the lesson, amen, of God's provision. Y'all don't hear me in the all right, amen. One of the lessons, saints of God, we today can learn from this mother, amen, he's all right in it, is that God will do exactly what, amen, he had promised to do. Elijah promised that the Lord will fill the vessel in the all right, but he's going to do it in privacy. Amen. He want this miracle done in privacy in the all right. 
amen, when they see her moving forth and doing this and doing that, amen, how did it happen? Where did it come from? Who did it for? And this should tell them nobody but God. It be all right. Hallelujah. Amen. Then she can't get no props and they won't lift her up and say, look what she done. No, God did it. He's all right, isn't it? So thanks to God and to you that are with me this morning. Mothers, continue to cry unto the Lord. He see your needs. He know your needs. He knows what you're facing. He knows your problem. He knows what you're going through. He's all right, isn't he? Not a single word, amen, saints of God, or a single promise, amen, will fall to the ground, amen, and will not be unfilled that God has promised. He's all right, isn't he? This mother, saints of God, she understood the limits, amen, of God's provision. Amen, y'all, don't hear me. Amen, the limits of God's provision was limitless. In other words, she ran out of vessels. Amen. <laughs> there was more to come. Amen. Um, ah, God's all right, isn't it? I believe if she brought in a thousand vessels, amen, saints of God, they all would have been filled. In the all right? In the all right? But saints of God and the youth that are with me with the time that we have today, amen, this mother understood, amen, saints of God, the largeness of God's provision. She knew that God was able to do above and beyond that in the all right, in the all right. Mother, continue to cry unto the Lord. Amen. Mother, if you're not, amen, remember this mother, this wife that had lost her husband and about to lose her two sons. Amen. She went and cried. Oh, God. In other words, I need your help. God's all right, isn't it? I'm about to lose everything that I got, and I ain't got nothing. Amen. But a little bit of olive oil inside the house. God's all right, isn't it? Some mother saints of God, amen, they find themselves in this very place today. He's all right, isn't it? Listen, some mothers may find themselves in this very place today. If so, Amen. You are at the end, amen, of your rope. Amen. In the all right. And there was a long amen drop. Amen. Beneath you. Amen. In the all right. And you do not know what to do. You're at the end of your rope. I don't know what to do. I don't know which way to go. I'm here to tell you be like this mother. Amen. Cry unto the Lord. God said it tell you again by the Holy Ghost. There's a place in the heart of God for mothers. That's why, amen, there's such a strong drive, amen, for the sons of mothers, amen, to cry unto their mothers. Y'all don't hear me, saints of God. Mothers, amen, what do you do, amen, when you're facing problems with your children? Amen, that you cannot say, amen, and you cannot solve their problem. What do you do? Cry unto the Lord, yeah. mother, amen. What do you do, amen, when you're married? Man, when your marriage is on the rocks, amen. He's all right, isn't he? Amen, in the crushing waves of hopelessness, amen, a wound are hitting so hard, cry unto the Lord. Mothers, what do you do? Amen. When you, amen, do, amen. When you, amen, do when, amen, that you know when the problem arrives at work, amen, and you don't know how, amen, you're going to get through this and deal with that. Cry unto the Lord. Mothers, what do you do? Amen. When you have to Amen. More months to go, but no money left to pay no bill. Cry unto the Lord. Mother, what do you do? Amen. When you have amen followed, amen of love, amen. Mm, God's all right in it. What do you do? Amen. When you, 
amen, have followed the loved ones, amen, body to the graveyard, amen, and you cannot escape the loneliness, the grief, and the pain. Cry unto the Lord, mother, what do you do? Amen. When your heart is broken, your dream is shattered, your hopes, amen, have been dashed, amen, to bits, amen, mm, on the rocks of reality. Cry unto the Lord, mother, what do you do? Amen. When you're walking through the spiritual, amen, wasteland, amen, and there seems to be no way out, do like this mother did, amen. He's all right, isn't he? When she reached, reached to the ends of her rope, amen, be like her. This mother cried unto the Lord. He's all right, isn't he? He's all right, isn't he? I believe this morning, what a mother, amen, a mother, amen, that's moaning before the Lord, cry, amen, before the Lord for her sons or daughters her husband, her family, her loved one, amen. He's all right in there, a crying mother, amen. Not crying to anybody, but crying to God, moaning, amen, a broken heart. God's all right in there. Mothers, I know a God that sets high and look low. He's all right in there. He's able, amen, to do all things that fail. Thank God for mama. Amen. A lot of times mama would rise up early when everybody's still asleep and mama would intercede for the family. Yo, don't hear me? A lot of times mama would make the sacrifice. Amen. She can't get this for herself to make sure, amen, that her son and her daughters have this of have that. Mama. Mm, mama, mama, mama. God's all right, isn't he? Hallelujah. A crying mother. She cried, amen, unto the Lord. She moaned, she pleaded unto the Lord. Help me, Lord. I don't want to lose my sons. I don't want to lose my daughter. I don't want to lose, amen, my credit, amen, because my husband died and left me with nothing. Amen, your prophet, Lord. Y'all don't hear me. Oh, she asked God to step in. The prophet left me broke, Lord. The prophet left me with nothing, Lord. Amen. The prophet was in the school of the prophets. Amen. The prophet was preparing himself, Lord. You know his situation. You know his health, Lord. But the prophet didn't leave me with nothing, Lord. But the two sons he left me with, now, amen, the credits and the debtors want to take them. I don't want to lose them too long. She cried unto the Lord. Mothers, don't stop what you do. Don't stop pleading. Amen. To the Lord on behalf of your family. Thank God for mom. Hallelujah. Isn't he all right? You think about mama in the animal kingdom. She's powerful. She's protected. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Odds can be against her. But yet she give her life, amen, for her little one. What a mama. <laughs> what a mama. Hallelujah. Sometimes dad is nowhere to be found. I'm not, I'm not knocking the dad thing. Don't y'all don't think wrong about me anymore. But I'm talking about mama. Mother's Day. That's a mother. How many of you love him this morning? We thank God, amen, for this Mother's Day. We just talk to you a little bit, amen, about, amen, this mother, hear how she cried to the Lord, yeah. amen, she went to the man of God and said, your servant, my husband, the prophet, amen, is dead, <laughs> isn't he all right? all right, and she told the man of God, I ain't got nothing, and now they're coming to get my son, uh, are y'all with me this morning? Yeah. Coming now to get my son. What do I do? Prophet said, what you got? Amen. What you got? Just some oil. Mm, glory to God. Ooh. One thing the husband did leave her with. 
He left the widow anointing. <laughs> I'm going to close this chapter right there. Because that's a whole nother message. She was left with some oil. All that Ollie Wong was used in many ways, church. Yeah. She was left with some oil. So he did leave something. Isn't he all right? Don't you love him this morning? We thank God for all the mothers. Amen. I know you're going to bless your mother today. Amen. I know many of you are going to take them out to dinner and feed them. Amen. Give them those beautiful cards and a few dollars. There. Thank God for mom. Isn't he all right? Amen. This is Apostle Thomas, Pastor of Universal Faith Church, located 914 West Street, Newburgh, North Carolina. Remember, amen. Next week, we will be back in our building. Amen. Lord permit, maybe we we'll still continue to Zoom the minute that the, the service live. But remember, you want to be a blessing. Amen. You can, amen. Remember our cash out, Universal Faith Church. Remember our PayPal, Universal Faith Church, 28 at gmail.com. We thank you this morning. Amen. I say again, ushers, lay members, amen, physicians, amen, doorkeepers, amen. Let us all come together once again next Sunday. Amen. Zoom our services here in our building. This is Apostle Thomas, pastor of Universal Faith Church, where everybody's somebody. We thank God for you this morning. Amen. Once again, we say Happy Mother's Day. And we'll see you next Sunday. Expect a miracle. I want you to come with a miracle on your mind. There's something you may be seeking God for. Amen. Ask the man of God. Amen. What do, what, what do I do? Amen. Hallelujah. The hands on you. God, amen, begin to work a miracle. If you had to do it behind closed doors, I know he's a God bless you, saints. Have a great day. Happy Mother's Day once again. See you next Sunday. And this Wednesday night, we'll see you at Bible study. Bye-bye.